In honor of Star Wars Day, StarWars.com has revealed some new pops that we have never seen before. These are all the exclusives. I'm not going to show you the Wave 3 ones that we already knew about because you've probably already seen those. But these are the new exclusives that are going to be available in various stores. There are going to be two new Poe Dameron pops. One of them is exclusive to FYE, and that's the one I like the most with the orange jumpsuit and the little scar under his eye. Looks really cool. I don't have an unmasked Poe Dameron, so I'm really looking forward to getting this one. And the other Poe Dameron is him wearing his jacket and holding a blaster, which is really cool too. I'm liking the other one better with the orange jumpsuit. Not sure if I'll get this one. I might if I see it in the store, and this one's going to be a Hot Topic exclusive. This Yoda isn't an exclusive, but he looks really awesome, and we had never seen him before. They just revealed him today. He looks similar to the old one, but he's definitely got more sculpting in his head with his wrinkles and everything, and I really like how they put his eyelids a little lower on his eye. Just looks more like Yoda, and he's got some white hair on him. And this is Dagobah Yoda, so it's pretty much the first time we were introduced to Yoda in the movies, and he looks really good. I'm excited about getting this one. I don't have a regular Yoda, I just have a spirit Yoda, so I look forward to adding this one to my collection. There are going to be two new exclusive Ray Pops, and they're both super cute. This one is from the end of The Force Awakens, when she meets up with Luke finally, and she's holding the lightsaber and holding it out to him. That's going to look really cool with the other Luke that they had already announced, the old Luke. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm not so excited that it's a Walgreens exclusive, but it seems to be the only one that's exclusive to Walgreens. So since it's the only one, maybe they'll get more than just four of them. Hopefully they get a few more, like how they did with the Black Panther, and that was a little easier to find. There are so many good Ray Pops out there, but this may be my favorite one. She looks really adorable with the helmet on, and she's holding a little fighter pilot doll. This looks way better than I thought it was going to look when they first said they were going to make a Ray with a helmet. Really awesome. Really excited for this one. I already have this one on pre-order, so I look forward to getting her. And she's a GameStop exclusive. This is from Return of the Jedi, where Luke is wearing his Endor camouflage poncho. It's really cool. I hope they do an Endor Han and an Endor Leia as well. Really liking this figure. He's not an exclusive, so he probably won't be that hard to find. Really cool one. I wasn't a big fan of Maz Kanata's look in the movie. I thought it would have just been better if they just would have used Lupita Nyong'o. Because, yeah, her voice is great, but she's also got a really interesting look to her. She's really beautiful, and she's a great actress. I'm not sure why they decided to make a full-on CG character where they could have just used Lupita. I think that was a big mistake. But I wasn't going to originally buy the Maz Kanata, the regular version, where she has actually got her goggles over her eyes. But this one looks pretty cool because she's holding Luke's lightsaber and her goggles are up. So I might pick this one up if I could find it. I'm not going to try too hard to look for it, but I would like to add it to my collection. And she's going to be available at Target. What do you guys think about these new pops? They're actually better than I thought they were going to be. And they announced a lot more than I expected. I'm really excited about the two Ray pops. They're really cute. The jumpsuit Poe Dameron really looks cool. The Yoda is a big improvement over the old one. And Endor Luke is really cool. It just makes me want more Endor stuff. Like maybe a Biker Scout pop ride. An at at pop ride. Would be awesome. Just any Star Wars pop ride that's not a creature like the Dewback would be really cool. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And may the 4th be with you.